subscribe below. Can you believe this scene? After nine weeks overlanding some of America's most remote wilderness, I am greeted by two bucks while packing up at my storage unit in the heart of Metro Columbus. Returning home to Columbus for the Ohio State-Penn State football game was fantastic. Not only did my fraternity brothers and I have choice seats, but I also reunited with my brothers, some who I hadn't seen in over a quarter century. But now, more than ever, I am ready to continue on my 55 week overland adventure. There is so much more to see and so much more to do. Over the next several episodes, Lexi and I will work our way southbound to the Everglades and Key West, and then we'll continue around the Gulf of Mexico to Padre Island, Texas, and then from there to Colorado for Christmas with family. I found a spot to rest Lexi for the night up a forest road above the town of Elkins, West Virginia. But it wasn't until the morning light that I realized what a beautiful location we had found. Tonight, Lexi and I are camped out on a hilltop property overlooking the family farm that my great-grandfather grew up on in the 19th century. Word has it that Mother Nature may bless Double Nickel Road Trip with its very first snowfall, so I decided to light up Lexi in the spirit of the upcoming holiday season. Double Nickel Road Trips, first snowfall of the season, French Creek, West Virginia, November 13th. Well, Mother Nature didn't let us down, and Lexi and I begin our journey eastbound through the snow blanketed forest and country roads of French Creek, West Virginia.
And now, we begin our overland journey over the Allegheny Mountains, starting here in Beverly, West Virginia. We are climbing the same snowy route that Union soldiers from Ohio and West Virginians marched to confront Stonewall Jackson at the Battle of McDowell. Hey, Double Nickel crew, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Double Nickel Road Trip. Plan on riding shotgun with me on the next episode as we hit the Blue Ridge Parkway.